Hey you guys, this is Sid God's Wisdom coming on for a new collective update for the full moon in Pisces on September the 13th through the 14th, depending on your location, 2019. And it's going to be at 21 degrees of Pisces. And 21 deals with I expand. So no matter what the themes I talk about in this uh, video, everything the common denominator is I expand. You will be expanding for this full moon. And what in any area of your life you will be having expansion, okay? So remember, full moons are when the sun and the moon are opposite each other. Remember, opposite. Like that. They fit like this. It's like a tug of war. They're opposite each other. Okay. So them being opposite, that brings meaning the uh full moon is full of light. You can see the sun. I mean, yeah, well, the sun, you can see the moon. You can see the moon in the night sky. So, oppositions are, like I said, a tug of war. So, it's a tug of war of your emotions going on. Because the full moon will be conjunct Neptune retrograde. Retrograde deals with the past. So, there's something, an underlying theme of something from the past coming up. I have a past emotions you haven't settled or reconciled with yet. Past relationships. Past emotions or feelings dealing with your mom or any females in your life. Or a man that has a lot of fem feminine energy. He could be masculine and still be, you know, feminine. But it's something coming up dealing with the female side of uh, us right now, okay? Also, I'm going to just cover the aspects for my, my other fellow astrologers out there that know what I'm talking about. We also have Moon opposing Mars. Okay, we have Moon square Jupiter, we have Jupiter square Neptune, and those four I just talked about are kind of the hard aspects, because squares are opposition, squares a fight, tension, oppositions, tug of war, awareness. Now we have two helper aspects, Moon sextile, sextile means sex, good vibrations with the planet, so the Moon in Pisces having sex, sextile, with Pluto retrograde, so I'm dealing with the past, uh, and Capricorn. So Pisces and Capricorn six out of each other, okay? So also we have the sun trining Pluto. So Pluto is a good, is a dark feminine destructive planet, deals with death, transformation, dark side of life, okay? Pluto is in good aspect. To the sun and moon, sextile and trines. Trine is um your talent, what you're good at, and the sun is what you could see. So it's something you could see. So it's like, remember, I expand. So you'll be expanding around death, transforming something, dying away, something being exposed. So it's like your awareness will be like you'll be able to see. It. You you'll be conscious. The sun deal with consciousness, so you're aware of like, okay, this falling away or. I have to leave this relationship, this job, or this friend, or I have to um pay too many bills. I'm picking up bills, bills coming up. It's having to pay something, so it's like you have an awareness of okay, I gotta make this money to pay something. I have because Pluto also deal with uh, other people money, debt. It deal with the eighth house in astrology. So the eighth house is all about taxes on people. What uh people get out of you money wise? Okay, so. I'm picking up a big theme of money coming up with this full moon. Okay. Now these aspects are meant to remember expand. So something you'll be expanding on toward. I got down in my notes, cause the Pisces Virgo axis deal with Virgo perfection, Virgo details. Pisces deal with illusions, jail, healing. Uh, both of them deal with healing because Virgo deal with healing the self, Pisces dealing with healing the community, collective, other people, okay? The six and the 12 hours. So it's like a lot of service. So how I need to serve myself, that's another theme. So this whole month been about, because I talked about this in my last video, a whole month theme of serving yourself and serving others. How can I serve myself to be able to serve others? Because you got to be able to help yourself in order for you to help others in the right, healthy way. So dealing with mental health issues, I'm picking up very strongly. And 
I wrote down release judgment. Release judgment because you have to be patient with yourself. And I wrote down unconditional love. Pisces did with unconditional love. Love. Loving others. Do you love others? Okay. Are you willing to love others? What's hurting you with this? I'm picking up mental health. Mental health issues. So it's like mental health issues only fall under uncontrollable psychic powers within oneself. Which fall under being delusional, feeling insane. And mental health issues I learned from astrology is like having visions. Neptune deal with visions. Because the moon is also going to be conjunct the ruling planet of Pisces, Neptune. So the ruling planet on top of, remember conjunctions is blended. On top of the moon. So it's like Pisces deal with surrender. Surrendering to your mental pain, your mental problems what like your mind because you know people mind play tricks on you so having clear vision that's why I, i'm saying i expand having clear vision and understanding of okay i need help with this i need understanding with this and really because you remember pisces 12th house deal with jail so it's like either coming together with someone or a group of people and, or are sitting alone in the cell or sitting alone at home. I'm seeing a lot of people at home and contemplating their feelings and contemplating what cars they've been dealt in life, okay? So really be patient with yourself. Like I say, with, with the uncontrollable psychic powers, that mean constantly having visions, constantly having insight. Oh my God, these, I'm seeing like, just think about mental insane people. Like, oh, they're crazy, they're crazy. No, it's just like they have a lot of insight. They seen a lot of stuff. Squirtsophania, Pisces deal with squirtsophania, uh, dyslexia, ADHD, um, making the unseen seen in your mind's eye. Pisces also deal with the third eye. Okay, so a lot of illusions you might be um, having visions or dreams about. Okay, just be mindful of this. So write it down and try to interpret. What's coming up in your mental, your mind, your third eye, okay? Also, you could be feeling lost at this time. Um, not liking your reality or body because Virgo deals with reality. Pisces deal with aliens, the galactic. Just look up at the night sky. Past the stars, the darkness and the stars. Well, the stars and the, the dots and the lights, that's Aquarius energy. But the darkness, that's Pisces. You can't see God, you can feel God, you can have visions about God because Pisces is God. That's the 12 zodiac sign, so that's the last stop meeting your maker. Last stop, Pisces, God. So it's like also the higher self, this could be, could be considered God. So having conversations, being alone, feeling lost within yourself, feeling lost, trying to have a connection with God. Okay, I'm picking up that strong too, trying to find God in the midst of the storm. Trying to find God in the midst of dealing with these problems of being in this reality, in this world. Okay? So you got to really have patience and sit with yourself. Write. Get your vision boards. I have all my vision boards right here. Get your vision boards together. And get it out your mind. Get it out your head. Get it into paper. Get it on to uh, talk to your friends. You know, or talk to people you could trust uh, about how you feel or what you're feeling or what you're picking up or what's coming through your mind's eye. Okay. Also, I want to say, oh, okay. The full moon highlight questions. Now, these three questions I have deal with just statements of what the full moon will bring up dealing with I expand. Remember, that's the common denominator. denominator. So, the full moon deal with ending something. Acknowledging something, adjusting to something. So overall, you will be ending something, acknowledging something, adjusting to something. Okay. Now, the three, well, a couple questions I wrote down to go along with that is what area of my life I need to surrender to? Pisces deal with surrendering. Neptune deal with surrendering. 
So surrendering to God's will, surrendering to transformation, allowing God to step in and fight your battles for you, having trust and faith. Do you trust God? Do you know how to surrender? Hmm. Is surrendering to God's will hard for you? God is constantly showing us, the universe is constantly showing us messages every single day. When you wake up in the morning and take that first breath, that's the message. Saying, hey, I have the ability to get out this bed and make things happen. Okay? But what area of your life you need to surrender to? What God is trying to show you. God will make you sit. God will make you understand. Hey, slow down. Pay attention. I'm trying to get a message to you. I'm trying to make you see. Because remember, Virgo deals with details. The sun is in Virgo. So the sun is saying detail, detail, detail. See, sun is you can see details. But the moon in Pisces saying, I need you to feel me. God, I need you to feel me. So understand seeing the details, but feeling through them. Because remember, you have to sit and feel Okay, yeah, I'm seeing this detail, this bill, this problem, this, this, because Virgo deal with problems for fixing the problem, service, work, Virgo. And it's like, okay, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling like I need to help this person, help that. I need to help myself. So, But it's like by helping others, you help yourself. So surrendering to helping others. Surrendering to the visions God are giving you. Pisces deal with visions. So another question. Do I have a mental health check-in list? Okay. These are some uh, subliminal questions you can ask yourself. Am I okay? Are you okay with this reality? With, with the cards you've been dealt with in your life? Am I supporting myself enough? What do you need support with? What can you really sit down and say, hey, I need to push myself harder on this in Virgo, this detail, this detail, detail, this detail. I need to push myself. So remember, have a seat and write a checklist and check in with your mental health. Another one I have is what do I love about myself? So, yeah, we focus on all the details and picking yourself apart, picking other people apart. But where's the love in it? Pisces, where's the love in it? Where's the love in all this? What, find one thing or, or whatever, a couple things that you love about yourself. And through that, how can I serve others with that love? Like my passion is dance. I love to dance. So I have my dance team. I served through helping the community. Unfortunate couple of girls were unfortunate. And I served them by making banquets and uh fundraisers for them to raise money against service helping other people through my passion so finding the thing you love and serving others with it and helping you and at the end of the day you'll be helping yourself okay now overall remember i expand surrender to transformation and release judgment be patient and kind with yourself Virgo has the tendency to be very, very hard and critical. Pisces is the complete opposite. Okay. So Sun and Pluto and the Moon. So it's, Pluto is touching in good reception with the Moon and the Sun. So a transformation will be happening. So retrograde, Pluto's in retrograde. So it's something from the past coming up. So be mindful that, y'all. So now it is time we're going to get into the cards. Let's see what the guide is oracle saying. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so the overall chord, the guidance oracle, is 
the remedy I'm feeling to all this is what I just talked about. Aphrodite, inner goddess. Okay. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So again, loving yourself, and by loving yourself, you're able to love others in a healthy way. Because if you constantly give and give and give to others, and who giving to you? Who's supporting you? So remember that. Making sure there's a balance, a healthy balance, not an imbalance, okay? With serving and helping others. Making sure you're getting some out the pie. Okay, make sure you're getting some out the deal. Okay, first call we have. Death, transformation, Scorpio card. We just talked about death and transformation. Ruling planet, Pluto. We just talked about Pluto. So a death is happening. And when we say death, there's nothing to be scared about. Death is just an illusion. It's a transformation. Things fall away. Say you, your car get repossessed. That's the death, transformation. Uh, transformation is just happening. You have to find a new way. Your car fell off. Death, you'll have to find a new way of living or getting to work or from work. You know, that's how death comes in. You die, everything you die every day. Next card, we have the Eight of Swords, feeling trapped. Okay. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, being supported by God, the Divine, being supported. So at the end of the day, no matter what the circumstances come through, you're feeling trapped, hurt, lost, you will be supported. Okay. You will be supported. Now let's go deeper into the clear files I pulled this time. Okay, so this death and transformation will bring recognition and reward. So again, this man hit about, we just talked about surrendering. Surrendering to what? Purple, purple. Your third eye, third eye chakra. Visions. Okay. What they are trying to show you. Have patience with yourself through this process. Okay, it's going to, I'm picking up a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Because from the second row, from this Eight of Swords, we have conflict and defeat. And foundation and achievements. So like I say, sitting at home, being alone, being alone, something. The past, I'm picking up the past. The past. Coming up strong. Something from the past. I'm picking up feet. So people be mindful of your feet. I'm seeing somebody slip or tripping. So be mindful of that because that could cause a, a death transformation. You could break your ankle or your leg or something. Okay? So be mindful of that. Oh. Uh, or somebody pushing you or y'all playing and something happened. But it's like a, a mind, your mind in the way. So it's like this person running from their problems. You don't want to face it. Because this person head down, running down the stairs. And this person blindfolded, arms tied. So it's like a situation you tied into around something dealing with the home. Home. Or family. Or friends. You consider family or your work family. I'm picking up uh, work. I'm seeing people at work having a dispute or problems not want to be at their job. Trying to find a new job. Interesting. Trying to find a new job. Um, I'm seeing family members, siblings, not getting along with siblings right now. Or being your siblings being critical on you or you being critical on your siblings or your parents. I'm not picking up. No, I'm not picking up parents. I'm not picking up parents. But I'm picking up on... Wait a minute. Yeah, it could be mom or father. Or not having the help of your mom or father. Picking it up to not having the help of your mother or father. Okay? But how you get out of that? Go and talk to somebody that could support or help you. Like a loan company with your bills. Or uh, find a new way of income like Uber or a side hustle. I'm seeing grass or like selling weed or something. I don't know. <laughs> Drugs, because she got grass. She's sitting on grass, playing eight. Oh, this this pinnacle. This pinnacle. She's a queen. Queens help out. Queens. These are people that can help you out in these situations. Another chakra came up. Sacral chakra. Chakra. Um. 
interesting. So the yellow pinnacle and the yellow card. So be mindful of the deception and envy when it comes from people paying you for something. I'm picking up you trying to help people, but they don't, they paying you, but it's like, it's for you to do something that you don't want to do, but it's like you're trapped in the obligation, okay? Because I'm like, if it fell this way, I'm going to go back this way with it. So it's like they're paying you for obligation that you tied into, and it's killing you, okay? But pick your head up, surrender to the obligation, because you're going to get through it. You're going to get your blessing through surrendering to whatever contract or bondage you have with government, job, a loan company, um, parent. If you got a loan, lo lo got money from your parent, um, surrender to it. And just God going to make a way for you to make money. I'm picking up money very, very strongly money and I'm seeing water it's like it's killing you to even ask other people for help or money but remember God put you in that place to surrender to it and ask them because through asking them it's like asking God God work God use people God work through people so let whoever you asking for help help you no matter how you feel about it or no matter how they feel even if they have an attitude about it because they 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 or having deception like you lying about why you need the money or something and picking up. Or why you need the help. They're looking at you like that. Like, mm -hmm, you don't need my help. You're just trying to use me. No, you might really need the help. But just surrender to it no matter how they're coming off at you. And just make sure you pay them back or whatever agreement you have. Make sure you finish it out. Okay. Let me take a moment. Remember, this is a general reading. This is not going to resonate with everybody. If you want a uh, more specific, personalized reading, book a session with me. The link will be in the description box below. Make sure y'all like, comment, and share for me. Thank you so much. But I'm going to take one more minute and look at the cards and see what final messages I'm picking up. Release your fears. I'm picking it up strong. Release your fear. Stop being afraid. Fear is of the enemy. Not to place blame or anything, but fear is of the devil. So fears keep you trapped in a low vibration. So to rise up and become higher and come into the light, more positive energy. Stop being negative. Release your fears, your limitations. Release your blocks. Virgo energy. Figuring out. The blocks, releasing the blocks. Pisces, surrendering to the blocks. Wow, it says surrendering to the blocks. That's your circumstances, that's your reality for a reason. Remember, we chose all our obstacles before coming down here in, in this reality, in this body, in this carnation, okay? And I'm picking up having faith because the light is behind you and you're running from the light. But the light right here in front is still guiding you. So no matter where you run, you're still surrounded by God. You're still surrounded. The little light right there. No matter how you feel, feel or whatever fears you have, release them and find your happiness. Find it. Find it. What makes you happy? Okay, y'all. That's I'm gonna end it right there with the collective. Reading for the Pisces full moon. Okay, y'all. Remember, if you have any questions, concerns, or, or comments, reach out to me. I am here to help and serve y'all. This is my uh, service to humanity. So feel free to reach out to me. Um, like I say, my services will be linked below. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, like I say, thank you. I have heal, heal all for your mental or physical ailments. I just want to say I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. 
Thank you for the positive feedback I'm beginning from a couple of friends and supporters. Y'all be blessed.